And now I'm going to change it up with a fan in source, fan out destination. And I kind of call this a little bit of a hidden gem. Uh, people shy away from it for whatever reason. It's still part of the same source and destination family. Its purpose is the same. Its purpose is to break a wire and pick it back up somewhere else. But where this is different than your regular source and destination is that we can show graphics in between the source and destination itself, fan in source, fan out destination. And usually we use this for cables or some type of harness because we want to show we want to show a little bit of the graphics of the cable typically with AutoCAD or AutoCAD electrical you know especially AutoCAD electrical it can be difficult to do from a 2D perspective now if we go over to inventor we can route those and cables and harnesses and show them all, all day long but this could be an alternative to that as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to insert to start with connector symbol and I'm just going to make it a five pin count connector symbol spacing one pin list starting at one I use the fixed spacing I'm going to flip it to begin with and I'm going to insert this kind of just randomly let's say right at 1405 here and this is your standard connector dialog box. I could add a part number, descriptions. I will put a location code on here. I'll call it MCAB5. And then I'll click OK. And then I'm going to use the multiple bus command. And this could be, and I'll repeat this in a few minutes. I just happened to insert a connector symbol because it has five. I could dictate, you know, I wanted five connection points. But this could be any symbol. It could be a drive symbol, an HMI symbol. I'm just showing some wires coming off of one symbol and going to another is what's going to happen at the end of the day here. So I'm going to go to my multiple bus command. And I'm going to start it at a component with multiple wires. And then I'm going to wrap a window around my connection points and just draw some wires I'm going to you know, put it, let's say, randomly out to about here, giving myself a lot of space. Now, right now, as a mental note, these wires that I just placed down are on this generic wires layer. If I go to my Create, Edit, Wire Type dialog box, I've got a heck of a lot more in here that just happened to default to the generic wires layer. I'm going to leave it at that right now. And then I'm going to insert a cable. And I'll drop this down, let's say, right about here. And I'm giving myself a lot of space here, as you're going to see in a minute. And I'll put a catalog number on here. I'm just going to pick a five conductor annexter cable. And that way it fills in the wire color ID for me. And I'll give this a location. Of MCAB as well. And I'll select OK. And then I'll go and insert the rest of the child symbols. And again, color code is being dictated by the catalog number itself. We'll put one down on each one, each wire. And then I'm going to hit escape. And now my intention is to take these wires to another symbol that I'm going to drop down in a few minutes, in a couple of minutes here. So I'm going to go to the fan in source command. And I'm going to choose the solid wire number description. And you kind of look at your wiring scenario as far as which wire connection orientation you're going to use here. So I'm coming off the right side of this symbol. Again, it could be any symbol, not just a connector. So this is the orientation that I want to choose. 
and I'll drop it down, let's say right about here. And again, just like the regular source and destination, you start with a code. And I'm going to call this oh, 1405-01. So basically, I'm grabbing the cable number itself without the CBL. I'll make it easier. I can even put the CBL in here. It's just a code. That's all it is that I need to link to a destination. In the description, let's let's say it's you know it's a robot cable, whatever. And I'll pick OK. And then I'll do a source fence insert. And I'll do the rest of them. Next one down is going to be the same, except it's going to have a dash zero two. So now the code is different than the first wire, as it should be. Next one, I'm just going to let it default to 03, 04, and 05. Just the code. That's all it is for each one of those. Now, what happens when you place the fan in source down on a wire? And remember the orientation that I used. On the left side of the symbol itself, that's still a real wire. On the right side, it places it on this layer called multi-wire, wire, which makes it a dumb line at this point. It's graphics. It's not a real wire right here. So now let's say I'll come down here. I'll insert another connector. And again, this could be any symbol, not just a connector symbol. And let me just line it up with a reference number, then I'll move it. We'll give this a location code of machine in this case. I'm going to pick OK here. And then I'm just going to move it out here to the right, just eyeball in, if you will. And now I'm going to do something real similar as I did with the source. I'm going to start with my wires with the multiple bus command. And we'll just draw these, let's say, out to here. Now I'm going to go fan out destination. And this time, the wire connection orientation, accordingly to the symbol where I'm going, would be this one. So I'll drop this one down directly onto the wire, let's say, right about here. And then I'm going to go to the drawing button to pick the code. This is very best practice, if you will, here. You're a lot better off, and this holds true for source, regular source and destination. You're always better off picking the destination from a list because if you make a typo, it simply won't work. If you make a typo, the code is different from the source. They're not going to be linked together. It's not going to know that it's the same wire. So I'll pick OK here on this one. And then I'll just keep dropping these down. Go to my drawing. This would be 02. Next one. O3. Next one. 04. And then the next one. O5. So now 
at this point, on the left side of the symbol, the destination, this is a dumb drawing line. It's not a wire. On the right side, it is a real wire. And even before I go any further and tie these together with some graphics, if I go to my reports and I go to cable from two for the active drawing, do all locations, it already works perfect from a source destination standpoint. Now these got out of order for some reason, that's an easy fix. But you can see that cable 1405 flat coming from pin one of this connector going to pin one of this connector. Same thing with the rest of them. So if I didn't do anything else and I ran a report on this, it already works perfect as far as the source destination is concerned. 